chilling smartphone video from a passerby who suddenly found herself in the middle of an officer-involved shooting along 8 Mile in Warren Monday afternoon. Oh, He's got a gun. Warren police say it all began with a marked patrol car trying to stop a 2020 Chevy Malibu around 8 Mile and Mound only to have the Malibu take off eastbound, crashing into an uninvolved person's car, causing minor injuries to both people inside. That's when cops say a man and woman in the Chevy bailed and ran for it. The suspect got out of the vehicle, ran back west here, went down this street, fired at the officer, the officer returned fire. It's clear that the suspect fired first at the officer. The officer did return fire. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer says the Malibu was wanted in connection to a felony crime, but did not say why due to the investigation. Investigators say the suspect, a 29-year-old Detroit resident, has previous felony convictions and is currently awaiting trial in Wayne County for fleeing and eluding police along with carjacking. It's almost daily now that we have these type of incidents that are happening not only in Detroit, but in Warren and other suburban areas. Including in Dearborn early Monday morning, where cops got two shooting suspects in custody custody after chaos broke loose on the edge of Dearborn and Detroit. The two men shocking an undercover Dearborn officer who was trying to recover a stolen car. Without provocation, the officer was fired upon uh, numerous times, uh, most likely from a high-powered assault rifle. Uh, his vehicle was struck multiple times, and in this case, bullets came within inches uh, of hitting him. Thankfully, the officer got away from that dangerous situation, but the risks are becoming more frequent. It's never been more dangerous to be a police officer. I mean, we see these incidents increasing at an alarming rate. It's tough out here. I mean, uh, it gets worse every day. I mean, I've, I've been on this job for many decades now and been involved and seen a lot of shootings and been to a lot of officers' funerals. Unfortunately, I'm not going to a funeral uh, as a result of this incident that happened out here. As for the warrant suspect, he was taken into custody. His arraignment is scheduled for tomorrow. The gun was recovered. As for the woman who was with them, police say she's in custody and being questioned. In Warren, Dave Kimchin on the edge.